a busy Boston Children's Museum as school vacation week begins. She's having a blast. She hasn't stopped going from room to room to room. It's amazing. The museum offering special programs like an Olympic themed winter games. What's your favorite thing to do here at the museum? What do you like? Skating. You like the sock skating? The popular venue seeing an uptick in business leading into what is normally a peak week. One of our busiest days that we've had in well in two years. Um, so we're, we're getting back there and I think folks are getting out and about, which is really wonderful to see. The spring like weather drawing many families outside. There's a birdie. Kids are able to get outside. <laughs> oh, yeah, play. able to get outside and play and be with their friends again. <laughs> At the frog pond, skaters laced up boots but loosened up their coats for warmer temperatures. I have fun skating on the ice. I started to get better and better. Are you having fun today? Yes. Not every time you, uh, you get a, what is it, 40 to 5, 45 degree weather in uh, February. So we're going to take advantage of it. And Mother Nature delivering for the first part of school vacation. It's really nice. I think the weather's like really good for skating. And a chance to try out something new. Uh, to be honest, they, they actually made it look very easy, so 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 I decided to do it. Uh, You're going to try it again? No. <laughs> so that's 10-year-old James. Uh, he deserves some credit for trying to go out on the ice, and he said he did have some fun. Now, if you are coming out to any of the museums in Boston, the Children's Museum, Museum of Science, and also the Aquarium, they have followed along with the city of Boston's changes. So uh, proof of vaccination is no longer required at those venues, but you'll still need to wear a mask, at least for now.